Hey there, I'm Al. Today, we're gonna try 3D Coat. Before we dive in, go ahead and subscribe. Let's do this. Okay, so I've downloaded 3D Coat. This is me opening up the program for the very first time. I'm super stoked. I don't know a whole lot about it. I know it's great for retopology, apparently texturing. I think it's similar to Substance Painter in that regard, maybe. Okay, 3D Coat. Blah, blah, blah. Free trial, please. Thank you. And what is this surface sculpting? Surface mode is great for any type of sculpting, whether organic or hard surface. In this mode, you sculpt polygons free of distorted or stretched polygons, unless you choose to do so. All right, we'll start with surface sculpting. Give me a sphere. Give me a sphere. First time you are activating a tool uh, that allows to use build up option. This option allows you to grow constantly while stroking. Okay, they need to change that. Oh gosh. It should be used with care. If degree of growth is too big, the surface might grow too quickly and we'll get out of control. I have got to stop now. 3D coat, you got to change this little information blurb. Okay, so the mouse wheel does not zoom in. It changes the brush size. Right click and drag, seems to zoom in. Now this is the first time I've ever been in here. So just left clicking, rotate. So there's gonna be a lots of uh, lots of fun diving in. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna do what I'm calling the circle test. That's where I'm gonna drop in a sphere, whatever the default sphere is. And on my Wacom tablet, just draw those circles like I did in my Blender Sucks at Sculpting video. Got the basic draw tool, and we're gonna draw a small, slow circle. Now, as fast as I can, a couple of these circles. Well, it is very responsive. This one was a little bit angular. It's not turning into pentagons or squares or triangles when I'm doing these circles, which is great. That's off to a great start, in my opinion. So, after spending a few moments inside a 3D coat, one thing that I've noticed is I don't really care for the UI. It seems dated, the colors are not very appealing, and I know some people might say, oh, that's that's not a big deal, the UI, it shouldn't matter. Well, I know ZBrush doesn't have amazing UI, so I'm not comparing the two or saying that ZBrush has great UI, but this just feels very cluttered, very dated, and it's simply not appealing to the eye. Okay, so as a recap, this is my first time inside a 3D coat. Some of the things I disliked about the software was the UI, but a lot of pros for 3D coat Sculpting seemed intuitive, it was fun, very responsive. I could see if I spent more time with this, um, being able to make great sculpts just like I can in ZBrush. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions of tutorials or any reviews that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. I will see you next time.